Good morning, people of Holy Shepherd. Today is Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, we've done several things here at Holy Shepherd to mark uh, this day. Uh, yesterday we had a prayer service and we are hosting Pro Professor Patty Pell from Denver Seminary on Saturday at 11 a.m. to talk about justice and scripture. If you are interested in attending this talk, please let me know and I will get you the Zoom link. <clears throat> As I was reading through some of Dr. King's writings and speeches in preparation for the prayer service yesterday and this devotion today, I am reminded once again about how deeply rooted in prayer and scripture Dr. King was. The civil rights movement was not merely a political movement, but a justice movement anchored in the promises of the prophets and the good news of Jesus. In letters from a Birmingham jail, Dr. King writes, So the question is not whether we will be extremists, but what kind of extremists we will be. Will we be extremists for hate or for love? Will we be extremists for the preservation of injustice or for the extension of justice? In the dramatic scene on Calvary's Hill, three men were crucified. We must never forget that all three were crucified for the same crime, the crime of extremism. Two were extremists for immorality and thus fell below their environment. The other, Jesus Christ, was an extremist for love, truth, and goodness, and thereby rose above his environment. The nation and the world are in dire need of creative extremists. So today, on MLK Day, my invitation for us is to reflect on Dr. King's invitation in line with the prophets before him. How, like Jesus, do we become creative extremists? Extremists for God's love and justice in the world. <laughs>